Are you generous and merciful? Welcome, good day and hello to Silent Time, the opportunity to think on what is important in life. Generous and merciful, old words, but how about in practice? Do you help or donate for those who suffer hunger, thirst or get persecuted, who had to flee, like refugees? Do you help those who sometimes even do not help clothes and basic things of life? And do you visit your relatives and friends, for example, when they are in hospital or sick or when they get very old, like grandparents or great-grandparents or parents, when they cannot help themselves anymore? And do you join the prison ministry? If yes, if so, you can look forward to the final judgment day with great joy and do not need to fear the court of God when Jesus calls or comes or calls us home. In fact, we can look forward to it. Because he has already picked you out to be among those who stand at his right hand side. In Matthew chapter 25 verses 31 to 46, when the Son of Man comes as King and all the angels with him, he will sit on the royal throne and the people of all the nations will be gathered before him. Then he will divide them into two groups, just as a shepherd separates the sheep from the goats. He will put the righteous people on the right hand and the others on the left. Then the king will say to the people on his right, Come you that are blessed by my father, come and possess the kingdom which has been prepared for you. Ever since the creation of the world, I was hungry and you fed me, thirsty and you gave me a drink. I was a stranger and you received me in your homes, naked and you clothed me. I was sick and you took care of me, in prison and you visited me. The righteous will then answer, When, Lord, did we ever see you hungry and feed you, or thirsty and give you a drink? When did we ever see you a stranger and welcome you in our homes, or naked and clothe you? When did we ever see you sick or in prison and visit you? The king will reply, I tell you, whenever you did this for one of the least important of these followers of mine, you did it for me. But be aware that those who do not do the will of the Lord ask the same question in the following verses. Then he will say to those on his left, Away from me, you are under God's curse, away to the eternal fire which has been prepared for the devil and his angels. I was hungry, but you would not feed me, thirsty, but you would not give me a drink. I was a stranger, but you would not welcome me in your homes, naked, but you would not clothe me. I was sick and in prison, but you would not take care of me. Then they will answer him, When, Lord, did we ever see you hungry or thirsty or a stranger, or naked or sick or in prison, and we would not help you? The king will reply, I tell you, Whenever you refuse to help one of these least important ones, you refuse to help me. These then will be sent off to eternal punishment, but the righteous will go to eternal life. If we have experienced the great grace and love and forgiveness, the mercy, the comfort, the care of the Lord, of Jesus, of God, how can we remain hard-hearted to others, to other people? Lord, we thank you for your great love and mercy and grace. And we ask that you show us in our heart how we can help, whom we shall help, how we can build up the lives of other people, maybe nowadays in other formats than in past years, in past generations. But still, help us to understand the principle and give us wisdom. Lord, you also see how much misuse of helping is there. But yet you call us to help. Help us to be wise and show us what to do every day. We pray that you forgive us where we are heart-hardened, where we do not help others, where we are only looking to our own comfort and joy. We pray that you help us every day to live according to your will and that you guide us the narrow path towards your eternal kingdom, where we praise your holy name forever. Amen.